Okay, the sketch is being circulated. Look, if we come up with a suspect, I might need you and Sarah to come back and make a positive ID. Okay, no problem. Yeah, just let us know. I'm really glad you're okay, Sarah. Okay, enough already. We have more important things to deal with. I I'll check back with you, okay? I know you're gunning for resident hard ass, but don't you ever dismiss my family like that again. Well, what's the score, okay? Is the picture have anything to do with Ramsey's death? You know what we know. I doubt that. So what's gonna happen now? I mean, who's in charge? The mayor's in charge of appointing the new commissioner. In the meantime, the senior sergeant will hand out all case assignments. Except for Ramsey's case, the mayor farmed that one out to the feds. Good on him. Feds will get down to the bottom of this. All right, so Todd was upstairs in Ramsey's place. That's exactly right. Do you think Todd did Ramsey? I don't think he'd be dumb enough to stick around if he did. He said he came over to talk to Ramsey about buying back the penthouse, and when he got there, he opened the door, and all he did was see dead bodies. All right, so, so Todd checked the place out and didn't call the police? No, instead he phoned in the story to the son. All right, and you're sure you don't like him for this? I'm more interested than in the guy that pulled the gun on your brother. <sighs> I'm wondering why they parted ways. Okay, so maybe the hat lady, right? Maybe she didn't shoot you. Maybe she witnessed Ramsey getting murdered in his penthouse, then she flees the scene of the crime, jumps into the limo with that, the guy. Mm. Right, so the guy shoots you and she runs away. Mm. And then he goes looking for her in the park. Okay, so the key's the woman, right? We need to find her before the guy with the gun does. You are 5.1 miles from your destination. You should arrive in nine minutes. Oh, I never would have thought Dorian would have stood up in front of your whole family and told this story before we got a chance. How in the world did she find out anyway? Yeah, she's... She's known since the beginning. You didn't tell me that. Well, Charlie and I thought we had her contained. She's never contained. She's the whole reason all of this happened. No, honey, I am the reason. She played a huge part in this, a, a much bigger part than you, and now she owns B.E., and you're here. Forget Dorian, okay? I committed fraud on a major scale, Natalie. I don't get a pat and a nod. I get this. Is that what your lawyer told you? Look, even if I could make financial restitution with B.E., which we both know there's not a snowball's chance in hell of, Nora is the D.A., and Bo and Clint are going to make sure that she throws the book at me. Okay, so then defend yourself. There is no defense. Do you love me? What? You, yeah. Maybe you know I do. Do you want to be with me? More than anything in the world, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm going away, period. And there's nothing that either of us can do about it. Maybe there is. Things can't get much worse, okay? If this doesn't work, we have nothing to lose. What are you saying? You free? Us together, finally? How? We have a prison break and a midnight run to some island with no extradition treaty? Just cross your fingers. Hope this works. Now, now. I love you. Be careful. Right on time, Tony. You keep this up and you're on track for a Christmas bonus. The Buchanans gave us bonuses every quarter. Damn right we did. Tell it like it is. In the meantime, would you gather up these boxes and put them into whatever vehicle the Buchanans may be driving today? Thank you. Clint. Clint, I packed up all your personal things. All the business materials are mine. OK, let's be patient. We'll have our day in court. Yes, you will have to find something to do with all those hours and days of your unemployment. Bo, I heard on the news that Commissioner Ramsey is dead. That means your old job is available. Clint, good news. The rodeo's coming to town. <laughs> oh, dear. Time is up. Good. I want to get out of here so the stink doesn't stick. Tony. 
Well, thanks for buying us a little time with your legalese. <laughs> what legalese? I made the whole thing up. Hmm. That was our one freebie. We're not going to get another one. Clint Buchanan. Dad, it's me, Natalie. Listen, I'm at the police station, and I really need to see you. It's important. Brody and I were just talking about old times. Good old times or bad old times? Don't worry. It's all good. Um, I've got to head over to BE and pick up my paycheck and probably a pink slip, too, courtesy of Dorian Lord. I'll be back in time to take you to school, okay? I can take him if you want. Thanks, but I'll be here. I have a lot of time before school. What's next in our workout? We hit the deck for some push-ups. I can't do a lot of push-ups. I've tried, but I always fall flat on my face. Well, you can do it if you really want to. I really do. Well, then you're gonna have to work at it. You know, it might take some time, but when you want something bad enough, you don't give up. Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Hi, darling. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, anytime. Hi, Munchkin. <laughs> Sit down, both of you, please. How's uh, Jessica doing? She's not doing very well, Christian. The doctor gave her something to help her sleep, but, you know, she's going to wake up soon. <laughs> yes. If there's anything we can do, Mrs. Davidson, just let us know. Thank you, Christian. I so appreciate that. I talked to my dad yesterday. Oh, how's Cord? He's a little freaked out about what happened with the company, but mostly he's concerned about Jess. I'll call him later on. Whoops. What? You haven't, um, by any chance spoken with my mom, have you? Honey, I haven't seen or heard from Tina in oh, many, many years. Yeah, I, I, I figured. I just thought I'd ask. I understand. There are times when we really need our mothers. Even a mother like Tina. I'm so sorry she hasn't been around for you, you know. But you have to remember you have your father and you have the whole rest of the family to rely on. We love you. Oh, uh, let me get the door. I tell you what, let me give you this baby. Oh, you do? My sweetie girl. You, you got her? Look, oh, I got her. There you go. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Sure. You're covered in lipstick. <laughs> yes, you are. So, you really think you heard your mom's voice in the park? I don't know. It's probably just a crazy thought. I mean, <laughs> what? What would Tina be doing in Landview? Anyway? Visiting you? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a first. Uh, what? Okay. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Jonas Chamberlain. I'm the ambassador to Mandora. How do you do? My name is Victoria Davidson. Mendora. Mm -hmm. My newspaper, The Banner, has run a whole series of articles about your crown jewels. Yes. Is that what this is about? Um, not exactly. Um, the crown princess is here in Landview, and, well, she, um, you are exactly the kind of person that she would be interested in seeing while she's here. I can't imagine why. Mm -hmm. Has the princess, in fact, been here 